and Vicky Liviakis hits the pavement with the last hippie lawyer in the West. He makes his living defending clients most lawyers would never touch. I've never met a health angel that I wouldn't want my son or daughter to associate with. This edition of The West, the news magazine of the West. Welcome back to The West. I'm Vicki Liviakis. Unless you're an accused drug dealer or a prosecutor, chances are you've never heard of Tony Serra. But in San Francisco, Sarah has made a name for himself by building a client's list that reads more like America's most wanted than who's who. And his 60s style brand of Western justice is so unique that even Hollywood couldn't resist. How could you possibly remember this? Because I never took my eyes off it. Ah, she never took her eyes off the gun. This is a scene from the movie True You're Believer, entire... played by James Woods in 1988. She testified clearly she didn't know what the color was. In real life, the movie was based on this man, Western criminal defense lawyer Tony Serra, the true, true believer. Listen to the fact that the vehicle was not stolen. It should, it should be over our objection on both Fourth Amendment and discovery grounds. Sarah helped James Woods tell the dramatic story of Chol Su Lee, a young man sentenced to death for a Chinatown murder, a man Sarah truly believed was innocent. Another convicted killer Sarah believed in was Hootie Croy, an American Indian sentenced to death for killing a police officer. For him, Sarah created what he calls the cultural defense. You're an Indian. Genocide has been perpetrated, you know, on your people for all of the time that they've interacted with white culture. You're on a hill, there's 20 cops shooting at you. What is in your mind? What's in your mind is the history of your people. That's the cultural defense in a nutshell. Sarah places his faith in convicted killers because he's lost faith in prosecutors and police. I've represented two people who were given death penalty. They were reversed, and they were both found not guilty. That's Hootie Croy in, in the Chosso Lee case. Uh, those are truths. Those are truths that society has to deal with. Those are truths they don't want to deal with. But Sarah's truths are not so easy to deal with. His client list includes the Hell's Angels. And yes, Sarah truly believes in their innocence. Come on. And, and the, Some of them are bad guys. They've killed people. Hell's they sell Angels drugs are children. beautiful people. I've never met a Hell's Angel that I wouldn't want my son or daughter to associate with. That's true. I respect Hell's Angels. They're poets on wheels. Other clients run the gamut from the Black Panthers and Symbionese Liberation Army to the drug dealers he often represents in court today. Are you the patron saint of the crack dealer no, or the. No, I'm not the patron saint of anyone. I would defend a crack dealer very vigorously. He says he is anti-establishment and anti-materialism. He dresses dime store chic and will take on the right case for free. But who is Tony so Serra, really? I'm the last hippie lawyer. Is All the rest wait, of is that, is that what they call you, or is that what you call yourself, the last hippie lawyer? It's probably what I call myself. But I think that it's accurate. <laughs> what does that mean? It's just that, that, you have this pony tail? No, or? that I still Your embrace values. a lot of the values of the 60s. Isn't it highly improbable? This 50-something high-powered lawyer by day is a deadhead by night. <laughs> Meaning he goes to Grateful Dead concerts and is part of the psychedelic tie-dye crowd. I love that scene. That's my scene. Those are my people. You know, that's my church. He advocates the legalization of marijuana and makes no apologies for his dope cases. An old pot pipe sits in his law office near a picture of Sarah from his flower child days. He has five kids of his own named Shelter and Ivory, Chime Day, Lilac Bright, and Wonder Fortune, with whom he reads poetry. Oh, I kept the first for the other day. My client has a right to uh, not consent. But back in the courtroom, Sarah is always reminded this isn't the 60s. I dare say, you know, in the last 20 years, we've taken a nosedive with respect to civil rights. We'll never get it back. They have brainwashed people into giving up their civil rights to go after, you know, terrorists, drunk drivers, drug dealers, I don't know what, and we'll never get it back. Objection. 
This is a drug case. It's not a homicide case. Well, describe, then, what you saw that leads you to make that opinion. Is there anybody you won't defend? Yes. I won't, uh, I won't defend a policeman. I won't de defend a congressman. I won't defend a banker. I won't defend SNL. I don't uh, defend establishment. I defend outlaw. There's a big difference. I've always, you know, whatever you want to call it, thrown my destiny uh, to the outlaw generation. Does that make you an outlaw? I hope so. One thing the real true believer doesn't believe in is paying taxes, and it's cost him. Though the movie rights to his life story brought in $100,000, Sarah says nearly all of it was seized by the IRS.